So just gonna go through seven exercises, um, yoga with weights basically, um, again on the one leg. So you can mix it in, get a bit of core work in there. Um, as I say, 85% of the time we're on one leg in the walking gait. So it's really good for posture to exploit the one leg phase. And that's what we're gonna do. Again, we've put in a lateral raise uh, to the sides here for the shoulders. Um, there's a few rotor cuff muscles in there. I won't go too much detail in there. The deltoid muscles here and medial delts. And we're gonna work on the core. So we're gonna make it very, what we call contralateral. Ob basically opposite palm to opposite heel. Okay, and um, that's how the body works. I'm gonna do that more specifically in a sort of slightly more advanced opposite side to opposite side. Um, we're gonna go two arms, one leg. Okay, so we marry up the hands with the legs on the one leg. Okay, so again, it's quite a sort of functional exercise. It's sort of, the best way to think of it is we're over mimicking our walking gait with motion. Okay, uh, we're not staying static. Again, this is, a, you could say this is a sort of in motion version of the tree posture or Vrakrasana in yoga. Again, the one leg. So again, when you are lengthen out between big toe, little toe, okay, that's what will happen when you're on the one leg. Okay, and you want to be gathering, thinking shoulders over, hip tight over shoulders, and lengthen up for the crown, keeping the shoulders down. Okay, and again, we're gonna go through a couple of these. And in other videos, I'm gonna bring the progressions on with it. Okay, again, it's gonna go for a one kilo weight, very lightweight, um, because we're gonna exploit the speed and tempo. Slow is harder, fast is easier. And again, even with a lightweight, you can make it hard eventually. Um, you could super, 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 super slow it, and you're eventually, by just prolonging the time you're doing it, make it hard. Even you're just holding no weight up there, you hold your hand up there, you know, for say, a while, very slowly bring it down. That tempo would actually become hard. But again, we go over one kilo weight, just for sort of safety in that. Um, again, I'm keeping the shoes on like you would normally do yoga, you'd normally have the sh shoes off, etc. But again, I'm keeping my shoes on, uh, well, basically, because I've got loads of kickboxing injuries and stuff like that. Uh, but again, that's another story. So anyway, we're gonna just get the weights. And again, just pick these weights here, two kilos, actually, these are. Again, main thing, if you find them easy, just slow it down, make it harder. That's the most important thing. So I'm gonna go back and demonstrate. You're gonna zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, take the navel towards the spine. Okay, you're gonna breathe in through the nose. So you might as well start doing that now. Breathe in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips. As you exhale through pursed lips, just gonna give it a brief one on the breathing. You've got your pelvic floor here. Okay, and you've got the corset muscle linking on three layers deep, like cling film to this muscle. So as soon as you cough or sneeze, you can <laughs> feel everything coming in. Pelvic floor corsets engaged. So as we breathe in, we gather in, zip up and hollow, but as you exhale, <sighs> that's like that cough or sneeze. <laughs> Gets everything coming in that way towards the spine. So it's Pilates breathing. Okay, two middle fingers there touching underneath the breastbones. That helps you breathe into the lower lobes of the lungs. You can see the part in there of the fingers, just moving like seaweed on the bottom of the seabed to the sides and back. Again, that just helps you add width to the lungs and length for the out breath. Helps you use that corset muscle, three layers deep. So I've gone a little bit sort of reasonably deep there. You can go in deeper there. You spend a lot more time on the in breath. But again, I'm gonna just calibrate and synchronize that with emotion. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and more talk it through as I'm doing it. So from here, I just pick these up. You're gonna empty one leg. I'm going through the slight progression. So partially empty one foot on the toe here. Let me come up there and slowly back down. With the arms, again, you can keep them straight, but just shy of knocking out. I prefer slightly more bent. Imagine you're leading with your little finger. So start with the arms. Imagine you're leading with this little finger. Keep your shoulders down. I would come up to shoulders. I and mean, we're not going for the traps up here. So again, shoulders are slightly lower, then back down. And then you raise the other foot up slightly here and back down. Gathering against that instability, 
take your navel towards the spine. We're gonna exhale on the positive phase, the first phase, and breathe in on the negative phase. Okay, again, we're gonna exhale here, breathe in back down. As you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, take the navel towards the spine. Shoulders over hips, head over shoulders, lengthen up for the crown. Okay, again, exploit the speed and tempo, slow as harder, fast as easier, especially on this negative phase coming down. Again, optional, you can bring it all the way down here or bring it down to about here, just before we hang with the arms. Because again, tension's off there, so you can bring it to here. So exploiting the range, speed and tempo to make these as easy or as hard as you like. I'm gonna bring it here, make it slightly harder. We go up a little layer and back down. Partially empty one foot and then go to the others. So we've got that exchange from side to side. Now, gather in, zip up and hollow, lengthen up from the crown. If you want to make go on a progression, you know, depending on injuries, you know, there's many different stages, injuries you might be at or whatever. But again, you're going to lengthen out between big toe, little toe. Imagine you're rooting this leg in towards the floor and you're going to empty one leg. Might only be a millimetre or an inch off the floor. See what suits you. And then you transfer, you root the other leg in, empty one leg, fill up the next, empty and go again. Again, if you want to go higher, it'll be harder. Simple as that. If you want to go lower, it'll be easier. So see what suits you. If you want to go higher, you can bring the leg up here, gather in against the instability, navel towards the spine, slowly down, either here or here. Okay, slightly harder here, easier there. On the shoulders, the deltoids, we'll come this way a little bit. Again, you're coming up, gather in, navel towards the spine, empty one leg, fill up the next. Feel that soft cushion of the air as that foot just melts back in towards the ground and slowly, slowly down on that negative phase. Okay, keep the resting legs slightly soft, just shy of locking out, don't jam out on any joints. Okay, so again, you don't be locking out, just slightly soft on that resting leg. Imagine them roots growing up and nourishing the body. Exhale, one motion, breathing back down. Again, I'll just turn it a little bit sideways here. Again, we'll come forward a little bit, but from here, Exhale, first motion, breathing, come down. Empty one leg, fill up the next, and then go to the other side, and back again. Shoulders over hips, head over shoulders. Shoulders, navel towards the spine. Exploit that negative phase coming down. Empty one leg, fill up the next. Okay, lovely. Again, I'd go for about 14 there. Um, Again, I've got seven different ones. So you can follow these back to back. They're generally different muscles. Next one will be sort of biceps mixed with a one leg. Um, but again, they're all the same principles. Um, if you wanted lighter than that, then go lighter or one kilo or something like that. But main thing is zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. That throws on that corset muscle, the transverse abdominus, the corset muscle, three layers deep, which is segmentally stabilizing the spine. Okay, and that's gonna help you support the spine, any sort of problems with backs, etc. that really helps front on that corset. Because this is always tight here. So you might as well be pulling it in towards the spine. Classic examples, you might see uh, sort of this thing going on there, sort of like hernia city, that is really. Um, again, and all that's gonna do really is go somewhere else, it's gonna lock out on the joints, lock out on the legs. The body's a unit, so we wanna use it like a unit, okay? Again, we don't want compensator effects going elsewhere, etc. And um, yeah, just keep that good posture. Shoulders down. I mean, these have a mind of their own. So some, just before you start, just let the shoulders down. Let, uh, let yourself know where they are, okay? And even tr think of that trickle of water, just running down the back and dispersing, and just basically go slow and take the navel towards the spine. Obviously, you can use heavier weights, etc. But again, I would just let you get the most out of a lighter weight before you move up because um, you're getting the, light, the most out of that light weight before you move up, at least you're moving up with good form. Um, we're bringing all the sort of yoga principles in, good posture, even think of length and out, big toe, little toe. Um, I'd probably use shoes, because you don't want to be dropping weights for safety. Um, but again, just gather in and just simply calibrate and synchronize the breath and the motion. Exhale first motion, breathe in next. Okay, um, 
even if you do the breathing the wrong way around, it's not the end of the world. You know, yoga will do it one way, Pilates will do it another. So that just tells you, you know, you're fine either way. It's not going to kill you. I mean, you think as long as you are breathing, that's the most important thing. Um, and again, that was just working on the shoulders here, or the deltoids, and a little bit of the rope cuffs in there, the infraspinatus muscle, um, working, nothing to do with your lats, just lateral motion to the sides. And yeah, just exploit the speed and tempo. Slow is harder, fast is easier. Lovely, that was the number one of this yoga with weights. And here we go, number two. In a minute, lovely, bang.